here today with Dr. Sati Shalangavan, a member of the editorial board of Practice Update Clinical Dentistry Channel. And our topic for today is flossing helps maintain better oral health in older adults. Please describe for us the barriers which exist to performing randomized controlled clinical trials and why longitudinal studies will remain our best resource to answer questions related to flossing. Thank you, Dr. Carter. Um, I see a multitude of barriers. As pointed out by Drs. Vernon and CCAT in 2017, we have an ethical barrier in assigning research subjects to a non-flossing group, especially for a long period of time. I also see a practical barrier um, as it takes long time for caries and periodontal disease to develop and progress Therefore, trials, um, you know, looking into intervening these uh, conditions require a long follow-up period, making it harder to pursue such a trial. And there's also an associated financial barrier because it's challenging to acquire funding to support such an expensive trial. Certainly. At the five-year follow-up visit, the average tooth loss for elder flossers and non-flossers were one tooth and four teeth, respectively, a difference which was highly significant. How should this finding impact delivery of dental care for elder patients in my practice? That's a great question. So we know that uh, from several studies that optimal oral health becomes an essential component of overall well-being, especially in this cohort that is expanding in numbers across the globe. Based on the results, as clinicians, it is our duty to effectively convey the importance of oral hygiene practices, including interdental cleaning uh, to our patients, especially in the elderly uh, age group and also reinforce this message during every future patient visit. It is equally important to make sure that, we, that they employ the correct technique for interdental cleaning for the given clinical situation. I appreciate that advice. And finally, of the myriad articles published every year in the dental literature, what led you to choose this particular story as your story of the year? So for the Practice Update Clinical Dentistry channel, uh, we reviewed several important articles published in dentistry this year. The reason for me selecting this article to be my story of the year is the following. Um, a few years ago, there was a national debate as to whether flossing is required to maintain optimal oral health. And this debate was based on the available evidence base at that time. Uh, the results of this study and the previous study from the same research group published in 2018 together points to the importance of interdental cleaning in the maintenance of optimal oral health. These results have significant public health implications and hence I selected this one to be my story of the year article. Well, thank you so much for an interesting discussion and for your insights into this concept. Thank you, Dr. Carter, for the interview.